What if all the crushes you ever had found out how you felt about them at the same time? Well, this is what happens to Lara Jean Song in the book To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Laura keeps all of her love letters in a hat box given to her by her mother. Now, these aren't love letters written to her. These are love letters she writes to all the boys she's ever loved. There's five of them in all. Uh, these are for her eyes only until her little sister gets mad at her and mails them out to get revenge. Um, obviously, Lara Jean's life gets a lot more interesting. It's funny and there's plenty of twists and turns to keep you interested. I could not put this book down. If you love this book, then you will also love the sequel, P.S. I Still Love You. Um, both of these books are in the library for you to check out. Uh, Anything by Jenny Han is awesome, and we have a bunch of her books in our library. They are instant favorites. Um, before I go, I want to just read one quick passage for you from all the boys I've loved before. Um, it's when Lara Jean first realizes that her letters have gotten into the wrong hands. As we round the corner for our third lap, I catch Peter Kavinsky looking at me. I thought I was imagining it at first, him staring in my direction, but this is the third time. He's playing ultimate frisbee with some of the guys when we pass them. Peter jogs over to us and says, can I talk to you for a minute? Chris and I look at each other. Her or me? She asks. Laura Jean. Chris puts her arm around my shoulder protectively. Go ahead. We're listening. Peter rolls his eyes. I want to talk to her in private. Fine. She snaps and flounces away. Over her shoulder, she looks back at me with wide eyes, like, what? I shrug back, like, I have no idea. In a low, quiet voice, Peter says, just so you know, I don't have any STDs. What in the world? I stare at him, my mouth open. I never said you had an STD. His voice is still low, but actually furious. I also don't always take the last piece of pizza. What are you talking about? That's what you said in your letter. How I'm an egotistical guy who goes around giving girls STDs, remember? What letter? I never wrote you any letter. Wait, yes, I did. I did write him a letter about a million years ago, but that's not the letter he's talking about. It couldn't be. Yes, you did. It was addressed to me from you. Oh God, no, no, no. This isn't happening. This isn't reality. I'm dreaming. I'm in my room, and I'm dreaming, and Peter Kavinsky is in my dream, glaring at me. I close my eyes. Am I dreaming? Is this real? Laura Jean. I open my eyes. I'm not dreaming, and this is real. This is a nightmare. Peter Kavinsky is holding my letter in his hand. It's my handwriting, my envelope, my everything. How... how did you get that? It came in the mail yesterday, he sighs. Gruffly, he says, listen, it's no big deal. I just hope you're not going around telling people it came in the mail to your house. Yeah, I feel faint. I actually feel faint. Please let me faint right now, because if I faint, I will no longer be here in this moment. It will be like in movies when a girl passes out from the horror of it all and the fighting happens while she's asleep and she wakes up in hospital bed with a bruise or two, but she's missed all the bad stuff. I wish that was my life instead of this. All right, guys, so there you have it. To all the boys I loved before, P.S. I Still Love You, come to the library, check them out. Get on Facebook, get on Twitter at HDHS Media Center and tell us what you think about them.